Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Debbie. This is my Crafty Dan, and this bullet journal is my planner. And I'm ready to do another from scratch plan with me. I have week 21 to do, and this is for May the 22nd to May the 28th. And Friday of this week is has anybody ever heard of World Redhead Day? So I found this site and it gives you all of the world days, the holidays, the weird, I think they're weird little holidays for all around the, the world. So lots of holidays for different countries, but also it gives you these wor world days and Friday is World Redhead Day. Who knew? So I may try to see if I can find a red-headed lady to put in here in honor of all those gingers out there. And I also have these adhesive papers that I've been using to plan with that are just amazing. So these ones are done with napkins, but I did a few... Let me show you the top couple that are here. These are just leftovers from other weeks this month. And I have these two, which are just papers from 12 by 12 paper pad that I got from Dollarama. And it was called, let me see if I can find it quickly. It was called Daisy. And it's got all of these gorgeous, papers in here so many gorgeous blues and yellows and oh gosh guys isn't this pretty um but yeah so these these are four dollars they could have gone up a little bit since the prices went up i'm not sure um but these are in dollarama in canada if you look for them and they have a half a dozen different paper pads but the paper it's fairly thin. So I got these out of that paper pad. So I'm going to use some of these papers. Now this week I want a longer line down here. I'm going to cut two and a half inches off of here. Let's get this the right way around because that's how wide those sidebar areas are. Look at, this is from another craft that I've been doing. This is permanent archival ink and I can't get it off my fingers. You'll see that video this week. Let's get this straight. I didn't get my one side straight last week and it annoyed me all week that I, it was off that little wee bit. So let's try to get this as straight as possible this week. So a two and a half inch strip of this. And a two and a half strip of this. And then let's take a couple more measurements. So I'm going to take this because these are the adhesive sheets. This is how I've been storing them for now. I've just been putting them all on a clipboard. And because I don't have a huge stack of them, I hopefully I'll have a bunch built up in a little while. So I need to measure from here down, which is seven inches. And then from here down, which is eight inches. So I need a seven inch strip and an eight inch strip. And I think I want them like this. So let's do this one at seven inches. And this one should be good at eight inches. Let us see just a hair off of this end. So that's all the cutting that I have to do this week. So I have my papers. I need to cut my pages. 
And to do that, well, let's put this in here so it's out of the way like that. So to do this, I just take a piece of cutting board from the dollar store that I cut down and I use my metal ruler and I use a sharp blade. It just needs to come out a little bit. Now I'm going to cut right down. I'm cutting one page at a time this week just to see if it gives me a little better cut there so take that piece out I need three pages cut down I'd rather have this cut on the line and I use three cut down pages for my weekdays So that line right there. So I have all my pages cut down. These are going to be my daily columns. So let's start putting some of these down. I've only got the two sheets to put down this week. So if anybody out there knows how to take the permanent ink stains off your fingers, let me know in the comments, please. <laughs> it is absolutely crazy. So do I want it like this? Or do I want it like this? I think I want the blue at the bottom because I feel like it grounds it a little bit more. So let's do... that and let's do this one over here as well So I've got some pretty blues and yellows in here. I think I like the blue and yellow combination. These are particularly pretty shades, but I think I like this almost as much as the mint green and light pink. Um, yeah, there's just something about certain color combinations that are fabulous. So I have this. I said I was going to look for a ginger doll to put on. I have the, they're both minis, so the girls aren't huge, which makes them perfect for in here. But I have the wrong, wrong going places and the wrong, wrong every day. So let's check out and see what gingers we can find. Ooh, there's a ginger with a pretty sundress on in white. So... Ah, there's one that's absolutely adorable. So let's take her and just put her down here. She's drinking an iced coffee there. She looks good on that background as well. And we'll just, I'm going to keep looking. And there's one. I like this one too. So in honor of World Redhead Day, let's put down a couple of redheads. 
there. Okay, I've been doing a lot of stamping, so I thought, what would happen if I added a few to this? And I have some butterfly stamps. I do like that. I like this one because it's got the kind of shape that the Monarch Butterfly has. And I'm just going to grab the Diane Reevely Delusions. These are mixed media ink palette, permanent mixed media inks. And I've got black the blue, the green, the blue should be just about perfect for this. Just like that, one there. And I'm gonna put a few just down at the bottom. That way I can have something at the bottom of each page without having bulk. Because I'm already getting a lot of bulk in here. So I like that one, but I'm going to change stamps. And then I have this really gorgeous, big, it is really pretty, actually. And I think is that juicy enough? I think I'm going to put it right like this. Like that. So I have that big one. I'm not going to put a bunch of these on there because I just think that that is like, like that on its own is good enough. And then I am going to put There, I've got a little floral and a little butterfly, just a little one. That soaked through. So, just a little, just a little quick stamp at the bottom. Like that. there. And I'm not going to do one here because that's the next week. And if I do one there and it goes through, see there was paper here, that was okay. But if this goes through, um, I don't want it at the bottom of my task, like my sidebar there. So that's it for stamping. I think that is enough. So I'm going to start setting this up for my actual plans. Let me grab my Sharpie pen. I'm going to have to buy a few more of these. So I'm going to put week 21 May 22nd to the 28th there and then down the side bar I'm going to do errands and bills due and appointments and this week So I'm adding a little column down here so that I can 
kind of put things in when I need to, when I think of them. So I'm going to put the date up here, which is Monday, May 21st, or May 22nd, sorry. And then I'm going to write today, social media, and TV on here, the same as before. I've just kind of um, switched this out a little bit. I put a little more down here for TV because I think what I'm going to do is put an R beside the things that I want to record and then I'll put down probably what I watch. But I record the things that I wanna watch later because on the East Coast, we get things fairly late at night. Like the shows that I like to watch don't come on till 10 o'clock at night, Eastern time. So I get them at 11 o'clock at night. Well, I don't stay up till midnight every night. I don't even think I stayed up to midnight every night when I was a teenager. Um, I like going to bed <laughs> on time. So I'm gonna finish writing out the week and then I'm going to pick a color to go with this. Okay, so I have all of my pages set up. So now this is a planner. So I have every day I do my today list, my social media items. I like to do at least two, we film something and edit something. Um, so I try to do something every day. And then I have my TV shows. And like I said, I can put an R in here if it's something that I want to record. Then if it's something that I'm going to watch, I can put it down and exit out after I've watched it. So kind of a, it's a planner. It's a finance journal. It's a social media planner. It's a TV guide. And it has all my errands. It, this, this literally has everything in it. Now I penciled a little bit in here just to kind of count spaces off. And when I was trying to plan this out. So I'm going to just very quickly erase these faint pencil lines. I was just ticking boxes off and counting to see what my best spacing was going to be. I just went back over my last three weeks and counted the most boxes that I used in each one of my columns. So I don't need more boxes than what I'm using. So that's how I figured it out. And what am I going to do here for color? I think it's going to have to be in the blue range, but I'm thinking something really pale. So let's do this. Let's grab this. That's a nice light blue. And that's a dark, dark blue, almost the color of the butterflies. Okay, so this one it is. So all I do for my columns in here is I put a wash of color with the Crayola Super Tips. I have never had one of these that bleeds through the pages before. I never, I was just because I'm so used to using this. That's why I forgot to check this to see how that would work. But I just take my super tip because it's got this nice juicy wide tip. And I go over all of my headers. Okay, so that's my week. Absolutely done. 
And so if you are new to my channel, I'll show you how I utilize these pages and get everything done for the week. So I did a video on how I put this tip out in the front of my planner. This has my weekly, monthly task list on it. Every morning I sit down with my coffee or my tea, whatever I happen to be drinking, and I figure out what needs to be done this week. A lot of these things need to be done every week. So I put them down on the appropriate day. So I would sit down with this and I've got my trash and recycle. My recycling was last week. So for this Tuesday, I would just put, put out trash. And then I will go through here and figure out all of those things that I need to do. So this this is a monthly item but i need to clean my car this week i haven't done it for it's been at least a month so i need to clean my car and i think this week i'll actually take it over wash it and vacuum it out i don't go out a lot i don't use my car a ton now that the summer weather is here, I'm out and about a lot more. So that becomes a more important thing to do. Every week I go grocery shopping. I'll put grocery shop on, say, Thursday or Friday. So I'll sit down with the flyers that come out on Wednesday and make my shopping list and decide whether it's worth going out of town to shop or whether it is in-town shopping because... I'm not going to save any money and I have to drive an hour to go out of town. So yeah, guys, I, I drive for an hour to go into the city when I'm not just shopping at our tiny little grocery store that's local and all these other chores. I also have another tip out that I put in here because tip outs are so awesome. And this one is in my budget section right here and it's got all my bills that are due this week so i'll fill that in so i have this i need my bills due for this week hmm. so the only bill that i have due this week is my car insurance so i put that in there and that's pretty much all i do so then i'll sit down and I'll put in the videos that I want to create this week. And that way, when I'm looking to see what I'm doing here, plus I use my social media planner to see what I've got coming up. And I can figure out what's the most important thing off of here to do next. That's how I'm using this planner, guys. Now, I put all kinds of things under my today column. So the only thing that I'm going to write down in here today is Friday is World Redhead Day. Um... Yeah, and I think that one of the other days this week was World Turtle Day or something like that. I forgot what it was, but yeah, there's a lot of really cool little holidays. So this is my plan with me for this week. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let YouTube know that you're watching. Comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite color combination. I love this blue and yellow. These shades of blue and yellow. I also love the mint, pink, and green. And I love purple and yellow together. So let me know down below what your favorite two color combination is and subscribe to my channel before you leave. If you haven't done that already, come on back and become part of my YouTube family and I'll see everybody in the next video. Until then, bye bye for now everyone. Have a wonderful week.